Hi, boys and girls. How are you today? It's a sunny day when I'm recording this, so I decided to do this outside. Today, we're going to do our letter countdown. Uh, we're going to do a little activity with it. We're going to read a story, and we're going to do a math activity. So the letter that we're learning about today is O. O says ah and O. Oh. And the word outdoor starts with O. Oh, so I figured we would do an outdoor scavenger hunt. I'm going to show you some letters and we're going to find things that start with those letters. I have the letter H. House. There's my house. House starts with H. What about this letter? What is it? Y. Yeah. Yeah. Y says yeah for yard. There's my backyard. All right, we have another letter. What about D? D says duh for dandelion. We've got a lot of those in our yard. What about P? P is for playset. Come on over here. And Tyler, do you want to do that play set or this one? The big one or the little one? Okay. P is for play set. And then there's this letter, S. S is for slide. I think Tyler is going to slide down the slide with you. Hold on tight to my computer. Oh my goodness. Got it? Whoa! S is for slide. What about G? What about G? Could G be for grass? Yeah, G is for grass. Thanks for doing my outdoor scavenger hunt with me. You guys could do an outdoor scavenger hunt at home too. You could uh, write letters on a piece of paper and you find all the things that start with different letters like P could be for Pine cone. I'm holding the letters both ways because it's backwards to me and I never remember which way to show you guys. P is for pine cone. Or you could find all the different things in your backyard. You could find some paper letters and you could put them out. You could write the letters with chalk and bring them to your grid that you make. Um, it'd be kind of a fun outdoor activity for you. Another thing we're going to do is a story today. O is also for Octopus. This story is called My Very Own Octopus. I wish I had a pet of my own. I can't have a dog. I can't have a cat. I can't even have a rabbit since they make my brother sneeze. But whoever heard of an octopus making anybody sneeze? I never did. I wish I had an octopus kind of a silly pet. It would be easy to take an octopus home. My octopus could sit in the back with me. My octopus and I could play baseball together. We'd be a whole team all by ourselves. Nobody would be able to hit the ball past us. Not even my brother Glenn, who is the best hitter of them all. When we have dinner, my octopus could pass the salt and the pepper and the ketchup and the mustard, mustard whenever I needed them. Because he has so many arms, right? And when we finished, my octopus could help my brother and me clean the table. Of course, we would share our allowance with my octopus for helping us. It would be great fun to take a bath with my octopus because we both love the water. I could have my back scrubbed and my hair washed all at the same time and I would never have to worry about losing the soap. When I go to sleep, my octopus could help me hug my animals all at one time and keep the covers from sliding off my bed. take out more books from the library because my octopus would help me carry them home. My octopus would like to read books too. Look, he's reading eight of them. My 
octopus would come with me the next time we went to pick apples. I bet we could pick enough apples to last 10 years. On Halloween, my octopus could go around with me and we would collect more treats than Glenn and all the other, than all the other kids. People would wonder why my, who my friend is with such a great costume. In the winter, my octopus and I could beat anybody in a snowball fight, even my brother Glenn, who was the best snowball maker of them all. And here's the snowball picture. Look at that, because he's got eight arms. My octopus and I could shovel the driveway for our dad. Of course, my dad would have to buy lots of shovels, but he wouldn't mind. When I lose one of my mittens, which I always seem to do, my octopus would always have an extra mitten for me to wear. My room would always look neat because my octopus would help me put away all my clothes. And when my friend David came to visit, my octopus would help us put away all my toys. That would be really nice to have an octopus clean up that mess, wouldn't it? Sometimes my octopus and I would have a fight, like my brother and me, but it would be fun when we made friends again. We would shake and 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 shake. Eight handshakes for the eight arms. We would always take my octopus to the store when we went shopping. Our cart would be filled in no time at all, and anything our cart couldn't hold, my octopus would. I would never get wet again walking home from school in the rain, and neither would my brother or any of my friends. Look at all those umbrellas. The next time that big bully at school picks on me, my octopus would show him that big bully would never pick on me or my friends again. He wrapped him up. And whenever I fell and cried or hurt myself, my octopus would always be there to help me up and hug me 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 and hug me. Eight hugs. I wish I had my very own octopus. That sure would be fun. All right. For math today, you guys are going to play an activity where you'll need some objects and a dice. Since I'm outside, I have some outdoor objects, but you can use whatever you need. I've got some pine cones and some dandelions. So I'm going to roll my dice. I got one. So I'm going to take one pine cone and put it in front of me. I'm gonna turn this. You can see the one pine cone. I'm going to roll my dice again. This time I got two. And I'm going to take two dandelions. Now I'm going to line them up pine cone and a, and a dandelion. And then this dandelion doesn't have a pine cone. So I have one more dandelion than pine cones. I play again. I got three. So I'm going to take three pine cones. Let's see if I get a dandelion for every pine cone. I got three. So I put my three dandelions next to my pine cones. Does every pine cone have a match? It does. I have the same amount of pine cones as I do dandelions. Let's do it again. This time I got one dandelion and I got two pine cones. Does every pine cone and dandelion have a match? Nope, I have one more pine cone than I do dandelion. So you can play that game with anything you have at home. You can use blocks or coins or cereal. You can even do it during your snack. It'd be kind of fun. All right, boys and girls, you have a good day. I hope that you can get outside today and do some outdoor fun. Bye. Bye.